All right, let's talk about how do we create a new sidebar? Because sometimes having different sidebars can come in handy, especially if you're trying to separate uh, major topics or, you know, a teacher might create a site that, a sidebar that has student links, and then there might be a sidebar that has parent links, and then maybe, you know, a different sidebar for something else. So we're gonna create a new sidebar. So how do we do that? Well, we go into our more menu, so we click on more, and move down till we see edit site layout. Click on that. Now we are in the edit site layout mode. So over here, where we have a sidebar, notice that when I have my cursor over it, there is a plus sign. If you click on the plus sign, you can add a new page element. Well, you can see that there are lots of different things but what we specifically need is a navigation sidebar. So right here where it says navigation, we want to click on the button below it that says add. So now we have created a new navigation sidebar. Well, we need to give it a title. So we're going to click on navigation itself and notice here's the title up here. It says navigation. So we're going to rename it. We'll just call it Google is global. Okay. Well, we need to add the page that we just created. We had inserted a document into a page. Well, we didn't add that to any sidebars yet, so we're going to add that page to our sidebar. So we're going to go into Add Page, and here is our page. It's called Helpful Sites. I'm going to click on it and then scroll down and click OK. And now it shows up in my new sidebar because here's my Google is Global, and here's the new page. And if I click OK, if you look over here to the left, you now have a new navigation sidebar. It's called Google is Global, and there's one site under it. Now, when you are done editing a page, you must hit the close button to get out of the site layout mode. 